Hey guys, we're only going to do parts and pieces of this one, so uh, get your name on that front page. Make sure you've got your Chromebooks fired up because this client's going to pause me quite a bit and go to Orbital Motion Kepler's Laws. <clears throat> um, we get to skip lots of this one because you already did Solar System Explorer and there's no need to repeat ourselves 10 times. And so that first law, that Kepler's first law, is actually part A of this simulation, which is the shape of orbits. You've already seen it, okay? So this first law, the, the idea that yes, the planets are going in elliptical orbit, and the sun is at one of the foci, we beat that one enough, all right? So we're gonna skip part A, and we're just not gonna do A, which takes us all the way to B, all right? Velocity and area. So this is the new stuff. We're doing this a little bit about out of order. We're going to take the notes. So we'll add that chunk to this. Okay, remember, we've already done this part here. We'll put the second law in here today, but after you discover it. Okay, so you're going to play around with it first. So the intro here says, after establishing the planetary orbits or ellipses, Kepler next look at the speed of the planet as it traveled around the sun. It is hard to talk in this thing, so sorry about my uh, my words here. But question, how does the velocity of a planet vary as it travels in its orbit? So we know it's an elliptical orbit. We've seen it speed up and slow down. I know that that part seems repetitive, but there's going to be a fancier thing we got to get to, so we do have to review that real quick. Now, first thing to notice, it says place the planet at negative 5 AUs. That I. You're, you may remember this from when we did electricity stuff. I just means on the x-axis. Okay, so you're going to move the... See what color it is here? The purple dot is the planet. So you're going to move it to negative 5 on the x-axis. And it's a little tricky, so I'll give you a second. So it's going to say negative 5.00i, somewhere in there, where it says r equals, that's the radius. Bottom line is it has a radius of negative 5 on that side of the sun. All right, that's the important part here. Um, the velocity, you're going to set it to negative 4j. J is like the y-axis part. So what you do is you take that arrow that's pointing down right now, it's a purple arrow, and stretch it out to negative 5. Notice it says it does not have to be exact, because mine is jumping from negative 4.6, why are you doing this to me, to negative 5.6. So that's fun, but mine's at negative 4.6. I gotta get closer than that. You know me, I'm a little stubborn here. Well, I'm at negative 3.6. I guess that's only 0.4 off, so I'll take that. But your, your little purple arrow should be pointing down as close as you can get to negative 4. Um, I don't really like this idea of turning off show vectors. I say you leave them. In fact, I would have that on, and then I like to have on show grid. I'd check that guy. I'd check show trails. And then I also check show foci and centers, and then I've also got show vectors on. I think the shorter way of saying that is I click them all, all right? But I just want to see it all. So you're going to hit play. The play button's pretty easy to find. And you watch your planet go around. It should be leaving behind a purple trail. and you can easily see that thing change speed. So as it gets to the far left, it's a creeping. And then as it goes to the right, it's speeding up. Notice those two vectors hanging out from it. Okay, the green one, that's gravity pulling in. And it's always gonna pull in towards the center. The purple one, that's pointing tangent to the circle for you math nerds out there, 
that is your velocity vector. Okay, so the green one is gravity, points in all the time, and purple points tangent, and it points out. So what you should see, at what point does it go move the fastest, you should see the sun is represented right there at the origin, so at zero, zero, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's when it's getting closer to the sun. Okay, so closest to the sun. And I have to move back and forth between my Chromebook and talking to you guys, so. Sorry about that annoyance. Um, it's the slowest when it's at the far left. So it's the slowest when it's farthest from the sun. Whoa, farthest from the sun. All right. So we've got the sun at the far, far right there at the origin. We go just to the right of that. And then that red dot that had me a little confused for a second, that, that was the center. We don't really care about the center too much. So it says click reset. Reset, that little arrow thing. Okay, don't refresh your screen, do not do that. Just click reset. And it says turn on show vectors, you probably already did it. Look at the green vector that represents the force of gravity, click play. Green vector, which way does it always point? Hopefully you can see towards the sun. Inward is good too, but since we know it's the sun that's in there that's having the greatest impact on us, towards the sun is best. In which part of the orbit does the gravity vector point in almost the same direction? So again, my math nerds. In other words, when is the angle between those two vectors the smallest? And hopefully, like as I watch it on that downward slope, it's huge on the upward part of the path. And then it's at the far left, it's at a right angle. And then as it starts to head back towards the sun, that angle gets smaller. So pause me to make sure you can see that. In which part of the orbit does the gravity vector point in the opposite direction as the velocity? Is it's going away. Okay, so this is going away from the sun. And again, pause me, make sure you can see that. Because gravity's trying to say, gravity's like, come on, man, come back, come back to the sun. Yet its inertia is still carrying it out. So its velocity vector is still pointing towards the left. So this is all repetitive. We've done it before. How does the planet accelerate as it, as it approaches the sun? And how, why does it slow down? How does it slow down as it moves away? Okay, so just hopefully we can figure out by now that it's because of gravity. So gravity increases the speed as it moves towards the sun. And then gravity slows the speed as it moves away from the sun. Give me a minute to write that. What I'm learning is I go way too fast when I'm just sitting here staring out the window. I'm actually watching the squirrel on the squirrel feeder right now as I'm doing these notes. He's hanging upside down, twirling around. That's what my life has been diminished to right now, is sitting out, looking out the window all day. All right, so. Number four here, click reset. So back to that little funny arrow. Don't do refresh, just reset. Imagine a line sweeping out, connecting the planet to the sun. Think of it as cutting slices of pizza, people, all right? Um, let's keep this as simple as we can. If uh, you had a, a pizza that's not a perfect circle and you wanna cut slices, so everybody gets the same slices, same size of piece. So if, if I walked in there, with a oval pizza and we try to cut it so the slices are all exactly the same size some of them are going to be short and fat and some of them are going to be long and skinny all right so like wrap your head around that it's easy to cut equal sizes if your pizza is round you got a center right smack dab in the center but if it's an oval you're going to have some short fat pieces 
and some long skinny pieces. And that's what they're talking about here. So to keep this short and sweet, click play and randomly click sweep area. Don't do anything else. You don't have to time it, just hit play. And sweep area is towards the bottom right of the simulation. And you get these little, just pretend they're little weird looking slices of pizza. It may be hard to believe, but even if you get one of those long thin ones, you're getting just as much as somebody that's really close to the sun. Hey, get back here. I missed my, missed my click there. Okay, so I'm coming down to see where you're at. If you, when you're closest to the sun, click it. They're getting the short fat pizza, pieces of pizza. The people far away, they're getting the long skinny ones. Right? Everybody's getting the same amount of pizza. And so whatever number you write here, you'll see it says area is. Like mine says 11.467 times 10 to the 15th. But it depends on what, if you change your days, like in 100 days, whatever, these numbers will be different. Bottom line is they are all the same. So whatever number you write here, you write it all the way across. That is the law. That's what we cared about. So what pattern do you notice? Okay, the pattern we notice is you see equal areas swept out no matter the location in the orbit. So you see equal areas swept out, you see equal shadings, equal pieces of pizza no matter where you are in that orbit. And you can test it and pause me while you test it. Change it to 50 days. Change, oops, hundreds is the smallest, I'm sorry. So change it to 150, change it to 200, whatever. And you should see that those are always the same. Okay, so why do you think? Feel free to brainstorm on this and pause me. But my video is going to cut me off here in two minutes, so i got to keep rolling. Think of it this way. If we increase the radius of the orbit, so when you are, when that planet is all the way to the left, farther from the sun, the planet moves slower. So you're going to sweep less up and down, if you want to think of it that way, to make this triangle. But when you decrease the radius of the orbit, when you get closer to the sun, now the planet moves faster. So you got a smaller radius, but that planet's boogieing. And so when it's tracing out that, that chunk, you're going to get the same size as you did when it's moving slower. All right, and that's what this second law is. And now, once you guys wrap up this and pause me, all that good stuff, get out those notebooks. We're going to add it to that part of the notebook. All right, keep these gizmos. We're not done with them. But um, go to the notebook now, please. See you in a, see you in a second.